Yo, what's happening? Welcome back to Kibla Ahmed Arts G Man out here back in Hong Kong. Man, I literally arrived today at 5 pm, long ass flight from the UK. Um, it's always hard leaving, man. And then, um, anyway, got back 5 pm, sorted out my stuff, had a little freshen up, and then back out there to watch Ant Man and Wasp, which wasn't released in the UK, it's not released until August. I don't know if that has to do with the World Cup, but I would say it's got to do with the World Cup because that would affect revenue and whatnot. I don't know, but it's been out in Hong Kong three weeks now. Um, so anyway, finally got a chance to watch it. So this is my non-spoiler initial review of Ant-Man and Wasp. Marvel's Ant-Man and Wasp. Um, man, it was awesome. I am jet-lagged as hell and tired, so I do need to watch it again because there's some parts I was just dozing enough. And that's purely because I was... Freaking tired, because I don't really sleep on the planes. Uh, but initial thoughts, uh, amazing. You know, Marvel just don't let down. Just keeping in the same flow uh, and uh, and moistness of their movies, man. Just keep it going. Um, you know, obviously the hype of Avengers that came out in May. You know, it, it, it feeds onto this movie. But the thing is, Ant-Man and the Marvel so great. They built these characters, Ant-Man, and obviously introducing the Wasp. They're giving them their own motive in this movies for them, you know, to hold their own standalone movie. You got the side characters like Michael Pane, who's fucking hilarious, and he makes the movie without him. Honestly, the, these movies without these side characters are, you know, Marvel's so great at building individual characters that you have to have all of them in the movie. So the movie holds its own, you know, it has its own agenda, has its own purpose and motive. However, it also has its relationship with the MCU. And you know that relationship with the MCU. Um, so it's amazing, you know. It's not reliant on all the other characters, uh, the MCU universe and whatnot, and what happens in this and that. It's not reliant on that. However, it's involved, but it can bloody hold its own. This movie was jokes. Um, like I said, it's not. Uh, it's a non-spoiler review, so I can't say nothing. But again, it holds its own motive. The story um, holds, holds its ground and... Uh, I can't say that anymore, but the sports time. Anyway, great story, um, great characters, again, just fun action, you know, introducing the Wasp, introducing um, more of, of Giant Man. Um, yeah, awesome, man. Hank Pym, more of the technology, uh, the Pym Particle uh, technology, um, you know, they're, they're, they're exploring more of the quantum realm. Definitely good, you know, the villain was great, uh, Ghost, um, you know, we've had some great Marvel villains in the last two movies, Black Panther and obviously Avengers, I wouldn't put this villain up there, um, you know, because Marvel's villains for me haven't always been the best, but, you know, it's still a great villain, but not up there with comparing to Killmonger and Thanos, uh, they had different motives and I think those movies... Uh, had a different sort of vibe and, and, and meaningful stuff. It's different, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, you know, but th um, definitely fun movie. I definitely need to watch it again, man. I'm so jet lagged. I freaking midnight. It's past 12.30. I got work tomorrow. I should have taken a day off work, basic guy. Anyway, hopefully I can sleep the whole night. But that's why I need to watch it again because I am a bit tired and whatnot. I need to go back and pick up a few things. Hopefully when it does bloody come out in the UK in August, which is another at least two to three weeks, then Kibler can watch it, and then me and Kibs could do a full-on breakdown spoiler review. Um, it's so basic that it hasn't come out yet in, in the UK. And if it was going to avoid the World Cup, why not just bring it out this week? Because the World Cup's done now. Anyway, I don't know if that's the actual reason, to be honest, but I just figured that's the case, because half the population of the world were watching the World Cup. No one's going, especially from markets like um, Europe and South America, no one's going to watch these movies now because football is huge there anyway um, I'm going off topic uh, another Marvel Cinematic Universe movie brilliant man they just don't stop and they just continue the vibe of uh, amazing movies man I think this one's great um, you know I'm looking forward to seeing what they happen what happens more with these characters uh, Ant-Man and Wasp and you know Goliath and stuff like that so you see all these things in the trailer um, so yeah, 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 yeah. Good movie, good movie. If you're a comic book fan, if you're following the Marvel Cinematic Universe, go watch it. Obviously, you're going to watch it. If you don't, I think it's still a fun film, especially a fun film to take the kids and stuff like that as well. So, you know, uh, I think Marvel was able to cater for 
all you um, audiences from around all different ages so this is definitely one that fits in there that's just very fun very family friendly very kid friendly uh, and then very comic book geeky friendly too so yeah that's my initial review non-spoiler review of ant-man and wasp uh thanks guys for watching i need to hit the bed i'm bloody tired um but yeah guys thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and everything and um you know watch i keep out for the videos man you know uh brothers podcasts movie reviews that we're just doing now toe to toe done a couple with kids while i was in the uk well more to come more to come guys um anyway i'm going to sleep this is g-man out in hong kong again that was ant-man and wasp non-spoiler review peace